evening, brothers and sisters. Body of Christ to Christ around the world. Here again at Speaker's Corner. Loving the Muslims, loving the Hebrew Israelites, loving everybody that doesn't know Jesus and urging them to come to the truth of Jesus Christ. Things have gone well today. People have heard the truth. Keep praying for them. Keep praying for us that we're in the field, right in amongst it. I uh, just wanted to give you a quick update. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't make it last Friday with the debate online with DCCI, Hatun, my sister, about Aisha and the Prophet Muhammad. We've now rescheduled that to this coming Friday. That'll be this coming Friday at half past nine. Please subscribe to DCCI. The videos are great. Hatun's a great speaker. Share all the videos that she posts. Keep praying for us. And keep praying for the Muslims. God bless you all. Amen. I'll be stepping in here just like I've stepped in Paul William's face and call him a liar. Call me a liar. Prove to me I'm lying. Prove to me Muhammad never went to his best friend and asked for a six-year-old door. Ah, wake up. Prove to me today. You're listening. Everyone is hearing me. They, they want me to be quiet. They don't want it to be known that Muhammad sucked blood from a man's face. Do you believe that? Want me to show you? Want me to show you right now? I'm going to show you in your own hadith. Oh, he's going to run. He's going to run. You want to laugh? Laugh at your pocket. My brother, I don't have nothing to do with you. He's Muhammad, he's blind. He's leading you. He's leading, I'm going to read it to you. He's, he's leading you down a path, a dead end path. Right? Let me find it. Now, <laughs> oh, I'm going to get to the, the blood stuff in a minute because it's in here. But I've got a few others for you. That is just the behavior of a prophet. Let the, be the behavior of a prophet. All these. I want to show you. Listen, listen. I'll tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you that a prophet sent by God would not behave this way. From what I'm going to show you in your own hadith. Yeah. So you said you made a claim, you show it. Sunan, Abi Dawood. Right? Do you know what that is? Actually, the Fahid Adi. Okay. This guy is going to waffle. No, I just, bro, Are you listening? Are you listening? Um, let's see. No. I'm not filming. So much Are you listening, sir? This is this is another deceiver. He thinks that if you circumcise, you will go to heaven. When the Bible says that God gave you no such commandment, and if you seek to be circumcised, Christ died in vain. This is what the Bible says. This is what the Bible says. Show us. Show us. Then they slip, they slip. I can't prove it. Now, I was prove it. Prove it. Prove what you just said in the Bible. Tonight, Abidawood. Are you listening? Tonight, Abidawood. Five, double, two, three. 
Tomorrow gonna be Islamic slave. Don't run to the Arabic. Don't run to the Arabic. If you wanted to run to the Arabic, when you said the a bit, a man of the Ansar said that while he was given to justice and was talking to the people and making them laugh, the prophet poked him under the ribs. Would you do that to a man? Hold on, hold on. Step by step. You ask us. As, 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 I won't, I won't do that. as you're feeding him, as you're spoon feeding him, would you do that to a man? Would you do that to a man? Would you poke a man in his belly? Just this. You're ashamed, you're ashamed, you're ashamed, you're ashamed. Because you should not be ashamed, you should be proud, are you proud? Are you proud that Muhammad did this? Okay, right, okay, now I'm going to ask you again. The prophet was given to jesting, right? And he had, he, he was talking to people and making them laugh. The prophet told him under the ribs with a stick. Yeah? The man said, let me take retaliation. He said, it's the prophet, take retaliation. So the prophet has poked the man and the ribs. The man said, let me take retaliation. The prophet said, take retaliation. He doesn't, he doesn't strike his alarm bells. I'm asking you a question, does it strike his alarm bell? I'm asking you, does it strike his alarm bell? No, it doesn't. This is the filth that they're happy with. This is the filth they're happy with. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to finish with this. He said, take retaliation. You are wearing a shirt, but I am not. The man said to mommy, you're wearing a shirt, but I am not. So the prophet raised his shirt, and the man embraced him and began to kiss his side. So Muhammad was the first. Seventh century shirt lifter. He was a seventh century shirt lifter. Let's be honest. If it's the prophet of God, be ashamed of your prophet and know he's not sent by God. And run from Islam and run to Jesus Christ. Because when you look at the life of Jesus, there is not a spot of blemish. There is nothing that you will find. Nothing that you will find he is a Passover lamb given for the sin of mankind his blood is there to set you free don't change the subject. Come on. Come on, Muslim. Give me a reason why I should be a give me a reason why I should be a Muslim. Give me a reason. Give me a reason why I should take Shahada. None. No reason. The reason why you should be a Christian is because you will be set free and free indeed. Christ said, come unto me, all those who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Rest for your souls. The wicked run when no one pursues it. They have no answers. Every week is the same story. God help them. Pray for them. Love them. Rebuke them. Stand steadfast. Be immovable in the Holy Spirit. Do not let their mocking and their harsh truths lead you astray. Do not be discouraged by their bullying and their attacks and ad hominem. Stick to the truth of the gospel and rebuke them so that everyone will fear the name of Jesus Christ and revere him as the creator. When judgment comes, there will be nowhere to run. Nowhere! Christians, I want you to think very carefully. 
I want you to think very carefully. Do not become a Dawa mule. Do not come to this park and say, we don't want to offend the Muslims. We don't want to offend the Muslims. We don't want to speak about Muhammad. Do not become a dhimmi in this park when this is the only place we have freedom of speech. You can speak the truth. Speak about Muhammad. So what? Do not let them subject you and subjugate you when you don't even realize what's happening. Slight of hand dawa. That's what they want to give you. Slight of hand dawa and hatred in the heart. God bless you. Shamsi, the great scholar of Hyde Park, runs from Jesus Christ when I speak his name. That how powerful Islam is. Huh? They want to silence you. Don't talk about Islam, speak about Jesus. Let's talk more about Islam. Let's talk about what your prophet said about Jews and Christians. Your prophet said that we are the worst of creatures. That we are pigs and swine. That we are filthy in body and soul, excuse me. That we are filthy in body and soul. Can I ask you a question? That's what your prophet said about Jews and Christians. What a loving man he was. Islam is a hateful religion. It is an antichrist religion. It is sent by the devil to tell you that Jesus never died. When he died for you, he died so that you could live. Jesus is God. Make up your mind. He died so that you could live. How can God die? He died so that you could live. How can God die? And if you do not believe that he is God, you will die in your sins. How can God die? How can God die? How? How can God die? How? Now this is the insincerity of Islam. No, how can God die? Will you answer my question if I ask you? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Will you answer my question? I'm asking you. How can God die? God never died. Ah, what Jesus? God. Don't be rattling off. No, what Jesus? God. God never died. Okay, Jesus. Jesus died in the flesh. He died in the flesh. He said that Jesus died for you. He died in the flesh. He is the eternal word of God. Jesus God. Everlasting to everlasting. What? Jesus God. He did not die. No, you said Jesus was God. But he rose in bodily form. No, this is Jesus. I'm asking you a question. No, I'm asking you. Did Jesus die? He thinks this is university challenge. This is not university challenge. This is about life and death. It's about life and death. Uh, excuse me. Do you're not going to piggyback off, off what you, I'm preaching. Do you believe in justice? Do you believe in justice? How can you say Jesus will never commit a 